it's not out of the question that they could win both of those regular season games. Also at the academy, Coach Frank Saratori and the hockey team coming off a very good weekend. The Falcons, who wrapped up the regular season with a sweep of Robert Morris, have now won four in a row and clinched a first round bye in the conference playoffs. And we're going to show you some video here, I think, in just a moment. You can see just how happy head coach Frank Saratori was during the on ice celebration when they clinched the home ice on Saturday night. And the euphoria continues. Here's how Frank kicked off his weekly press conference this afternoon. I'm a happy guy this week. I'm not happy very often, but uh, I'm happy this week. Uh, 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 first and foremost, after conquering, at least to date, the state of Pennsylvania, Mercyhurst one weekend, Robert Morris the other, we brought back, I smuggled back some spoils of war across enemy lines. Uh, Lee, this is for you. Lee, come on up here. I smuggled Lee back from Pennsylvania, a... <laughs> oh, you're a good man. A Yingling you're bear. Man. Yeah, look at that. Put that on there. Wow. J, uh, yeah, J, J Ritchie uh, went shopping with me. He insisted that we find your portion size. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anybody knows Lee knows he loves beer, and he really loves free beer. So... Uh, <laughs> We better be on ahead of the Tigers this week, pal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to love Frank Saratori. He's the best of the biz. He brought back a Yingling beer, which is made at the oldest brewery in the country, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. You can't get it back here. You can only get it back east. It's my favorite beer. Frank knew that. I'm touched that he brought it back. And, Mike, did you know that it's also President Obama's? favorite beer. I did not know that. I'm just concerned. Was that really the appropriate size for you there, Lee? <laughs> Only one? <laughs> All right. That was a good deal.